right? And uh, one of the shopping experience we always wanted to have is when you want to buy your groceries and there are various ways by which you can do that. Uh, the best way is you can just step out, go to the nearest store, buy the stuff which you want and you're like all done. But a lot of times we take a little bit of an extra effort to you know, walk into uh, some of these stores. Maybe it could be giant, it could be fair price. It could be, uh, I would say, any of these other brands coming as a part of it. So that if you want to have much more, I would say, detailed shopping where you have a complete list available, you really go and do that. But the, the COVID is one of the reasons by which a lot of things are moving towards the digital uh, you know, piece. And I would say when you do that, uh, same applies to your grocery shopping as well. And in today's session, we're going to talk about how uh, you know you can do your grocery shopping online let's let's look at you know one such example called as fair price let me quickly share my screen and you'll be able to see that how you can actually go about doing this i believe everyone is able to see my screen all right uh, when we look with respect to the fair price uh, there are a lot you can have almost the same experience the way you do it in that particular store ensuring that you are safe, it saves your time and you can enjoy the same benefits, the same discounts which you get back at the store. And definitely it helps you to reduce your travel time, your, your cost to travel, and then you know efforts which goes as a part of it, which means the free time which you have, you can spend time with your family, watch your uh, favorite shows and much more things at, at the same time. Let's look at how do I go about, you know, with respect to the fair price. The first thing that's important is you need to have an app. Now, uh, uh, I'm not sure if you want to do this along with me as a part of, you know, uh, your discussion. Uh, you can actually, you know, open up your phone. You can actually go to an app store. This is, by the way, an example created using uh, an Apple phones and iOS. You may have an Android phone or some other set of phone, uh, phones. You can actually go to the app store or, you know, a Play Store where you can type in something called as fair price and this particular option will show up. Now, the moment you see this particular option, you just need to click on that button to install that particular you know, application. This is the first step. And I would say 30% of your job is done the moment this particular app is installed, all right? So if you are with me, uh, if you already have an app installed, it's, it's great. If not, you can definitely go ahead and, and I would say install your particular app and then take it forward, all right? Give me a minute. And then let me quickly move further. All right, the next screen I would like to show you is the moment the app is installed, you they may ask you for, if you need notifications, I strongly recommend that you go for this particular option because you definitely need notifications. Like for example, if you have placed the order, you need to know that. If you have uh, gone ahead and, you know, uh, uh, if your delivery is expected, if there's any kind of delays, you get, you know, those notifications in place. You don't have to really get into the app to see it every time. You get an SMS, uh, which is very important, which really eases up your life. So I strongly recommend that you enable the notifications the moment you really go about, you know, uh, installing this particular application. So the moment you install, you get this particular option. And then let's move forward in terms of what we can do with this. Now, the moment you install the app and you log in into the app, this is the first screen you will see. And this screen keeps on changing. Like if you check the screen after an hour, this will look a little different. And the moment you look maybe after next day, it will look different. Uh, this is the screen which basically highlights some of the key promotions, some of the feature deals which are there for the day, et cetera. And I strongly recommend you know you to do that. We will definitely go step by step into each one of them so that you can see how really you can you know go further or much deeper in terms of enjoying the same discounts, I would say benefits or the offers of the day and ensuring the higher discounts with a much, uh, I would say less delivery time. Before we do that, we need, we need to set up a few things and this is pretty important. Now let's quickly move into what we need to do. The first thing this is very important is the login. You need to create your unique login. And as you can see here, you see this, uh, I was at the home button before. I was at the home button before. Okay, sorry about this. I was here at the home button. And after this home button was done, 
I click on something called as more. And the moment I do that, I get something like screen like this. I get login, orders, rewards, et cetera, et cetera, coming as a part of it. The simple thing I need to do is I need to click on login. The moment I touch on this login button, it will ask you for your login screen. And this is where if you already have an account with this, simply just go and log in with that. If not, just follow the steps in terms of creating your particular account. You need to type in your email ID. You need to type in the password which you would like to do. Click on the sign up button. The moment you have the sign up button in place, it will ask you for your email verification. And then you need to add your number as well because uh, since it's a digital way of doing things, you will be doing almost 99% of the task using you know, your, I would say, your mobile app. So your mobile login needs to be as accurate as possible. Uh, so this is the first important step of registering yourself with fair price because based on your purchasing, which you do on a regular basis, you will start seeing those much more tailored coupons, the discount coupons, et cetera, coming uh, you know, on your way. So ensure that you use the same login every time you are using fair price. And the beauty is, once you log in into this particular app, it doesn't throw you out. It doesn't logs you off at any point of time. You continue to use the same app uh, all the time. You will be able to use the same login all the time. So my strong recommendation here again is don't sign out of this particular app. Now, this is the first step which is done of having my unique identity, unique login. How does Fairprice know? whom I'm interacting with. And this is how you are creating your identity on that particular application, just like you have your Facebook account, right? Just like you have your Gojek or I would say Grab account. Similarly, you need to have the Grab account as well. Once that's done and you can see your mobile verification that comes as a part of it, uh, it will need you as an OTP. You need to fill in those OTP and you need to verify your number. Once that's done, you are very much part of it. Don't miss out on these messages, which you see here. They definitely have these lucky draws coming as a part of it and ensure based again, based on how, how much you are, you know, engaging and having a business with fair price, you will start seeing these options, you know, popping as, as a part of it, right? The second two more pieces I need to, you know, set up again, you can definitely do this later, but my strong recommendation is whenever you have such tools, always have those basics in place. Uh, you should definitely know what, you know, the system should know whom I'm interacting with. This will give you much more hassle-free shopping experience. This will help you to, you know, uh, do things in a much better way so that that eases up your life. And then you don't have to struggle about adding your payment options, et cetera, at any point of time. So second piece I'm going to do is what is my frequently used payment option? Again, you can definitely do that later, but my, uh, uh, when generally I use this app. I keep this added because it's very much secure. You don't have to share all the details uh, which is needed. Once you know you have those options in, uh, included, your life becomes much simpler. So what I've done is I have just entered my credit card number and I'm just setting these details and I put this as a default. You can definitely have multiple payment options added as a part of it. Again, depending upon, you may have a credit card which gives you a better offer for fair price. You can add that. Depending upon how much you're spending on that particular credit card, you can definitely have much more different options coming as a part of it. So I would rather say, uh, you know, uh, uh, you can uh, add your net banking or wallets at any point of time, depending upon what you would like to do as a part of it. My strong recommendation is go for credit cards. Again, you accumulate points, and then obviously you will see some offers coming as a part of it, right? Once that's done, once the card is added, you also need to have these uh, you know, details. Again, this is just an example of how it's done, uh, just a random way of doing it. Now, how do I really go about doing that? I click on address and I can have multiple addresses added here. I just need to type in my postal code and it will start showing up this particular, you know, my address. And once you click on that, you need to fill in those details and you'll be able to add those particular address. Now, you may want to shop for someone else, or let's say your family members is situated in near the Changi area. You can really go and do that. Someone at the Holland village or you know the Chinatown, it could be any place around it. You can definitely have multiple addresses coming as a part of it. Again, don't add too many of them because you may end up selecting a wrong address while ordering. Select one 
or I would say worst scenario, you should have two or max is three at any point of time. That's a strong recommendation, I would say, you know, from, from my side. Now, once this done, let's enjoy the magic of how do I really go and do my shopping at your fingertips. This is very, very, very important, right? When we look at in terms of, you know, our shopping, this is the main screen which you come back once this is done. I don't know if you have noticed the screen actually changed because you see this particular uh, different options coming as a part of it, which keeps on, you know, changing. And then you have something as, as a home button. Now I clicked on the home button and I was able to see this particular screen. First thing is definitely scroll to each one of them. You should be able to, you know, just scroll just the way you scroll the next page of a book. Scroll this to see what is the great discounts and offers which someone is you know, providing at any point of time. And one thing that needs to be noticed is any orders below 79 Singapore dollars, there is a delivery charge of $5 from fair price. So I would not recommend you to really shop on this if you have a $5 purchase because you'll end up spending another $5 for the delivery. The strong recommendation is when you have the total of $79, uh, you know, uh, at any point of time, that's where you should be really going and placing your orders. Let's look into, you know, some of the ways of how I do this. Now, the first thing you need to do is some of these highlights, you need to again scroll and you can see some of the unique ones which are there uh, for you. And depending upon your, uh, I would say your buying pattern, you will start having these experiences coming up. You'll have the tailored ones which will matter to you. Like for example, if you are uh, buying a specific kind of a make and model, like for example, let's say I'm buying Oreo biscuits. I will definitely see things around Oreo and I will see things around some other brands which will cater to my kind of a requirement. This is a, again, an analytics which is comes, which goes in the background, but this is where, this is called, I would say a customized uh, highlights or customized ads which will start showing up as a part of it. Now, this is where uh, once you st start scrolling into the featured one, these are like the deals for the day. And I would like to now start looking at these offers. I'm by the way, an Oreo biscuit fan, right? I really love those cookies. It's, it's a lot of sweet, but then, yeah, I mean, it's this is something amazing uh, definitely for us to have. And as you can see here, we really, uh, you know, we really kind of, you know, start adding these and adding is very simple. You can just scroll whatever you like. And you should definitely read out what is this offers before adding it to the cart because you need, it's better to be sure before you add it to the cart and deciding later. Uh, that's the way I do it. And that's how I recommend you to do it because you have like 15 items in your cart, then it becomes very difficult to, you know, remove it, et cetera. Again, it's easy to do it, but then you end up clicking on that deal again and then going into details. It's better that you do slow, but you do it right. That's 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 very important at first place, right? Now, for example, I want to add this. And what I do here is I really select this option. I do add to cart and you will see this is what you will start looking at. How much is the quantity you would like to add? And you get this message like one product is added to your cart, which means one quantity of this is added. Now, depending upon uh, the kind of offers, some of these offers don't let you add more than three, more than five, more than 10. You need to read those uh, before you can add. In fact, the app itself does not allow you to add in those particular cards, but it's always worth to know because sometimes you have an offer that you buy two, you get one free, for example, right? So it's always better to look for that so that you don't you know, end up having losing on those discounts which are actually offered you know, by fair price. So this is how you know, you know you can do it with respect to the featured ones, which is like, which is like on the go, which you have it available, which you can you know look at any point of time. Um, let's look into some different options again in the featured one. This is what I found this as a a Fuji Apple. I can just go here. I can click on add, and depending upon how much I need, I can really start scrolling. So it doesn't stop you from adding the things which you want. There's no limitations as such. You can just go and start adding what really matters to you and what exactly do you need as a part of your requirement. All right, this is very important because this is how you can tap further. You can you know, enhance your experience. This is how we do that, right? We have a list and we know those particular items. Sometimes uh, some of these items are not part of that list. And the best thing to do is if you like an offer and this is something you possibly wanted it, just go for it, right? 
Um, now, let's look at the second option is, I need to have much more custom experience. I know my category very well. I did not like something in the highlight section. I did not like anything in the feature section. Let's say I need to buy some, you know, some pork. I need to buy some rice. How do I really go about that? Now that's where you have these kind of, you know, categories coming as a part of it, which makes your life simple. It's like when you walk into Fair Price, you see those different sections which are marked. Like for example, baking foods. You have the wine section, right? You have, uh, uh, I would say, uh, 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 the frozen, you know, food section, etc. Those kind of things you can definitely enjoy, enjoy here also as a part of it. Now let's look forward in some of these examples on how do I really browse and look into this uh, uh, you know, categories. Like for example, the moment I select meat and seafood, I see different options under that. Again, my recommendation here is select what really, uh, don't look at 100 options at the same time, which will confuse you generally. I don't click on this view all because the moment you do view all, you will see all 50. Always start small with your narrowed search and then start broadening your search in the end of the day. That's, I would say, the right way of doing it. Again, there's no right or wrong, but then that's the way I generally do that. And if you notice one thing, the two items which I added before from my cart into the cart is now showing up in my cart. You remember those, you know, you remember those uh, apples and the Oreo biscuit? Item number one, and the moment you do this, item number two gets added here. So it is very much, I'm very much on the path which I'm looking at. Now I see these options, the moment I'm looking at the fresh chicken, et cetera, I click here and I will say, click on, you know, add to cart. Now, some of these items, you will find this message that pops up. Some of these items will take longer time. Now, for example, you may uh, want to, get things delivered immediately the next day or maybe the day after tomorrow. But some of these items are not available. Now, they will definitely prompt that if they cannot deliver up to a specific period. Please read that you may have organized something at your place and you want this stuff to be delivered at your place. And but then you missed out because you thought this will be delivered and this doesn't get delivered as a part of your package don't do that please read this very important in terms of only available from what particular date so it means if i need to place uh, anyways they will take the order but then this will be delivered only after like fourth of you know uh, i would say december so read this this is very important i'll go to some more varieties in terms of the categories this is to show you how i can really go about you know placing some more categories again the moment just imagine if i click on all rice noodles and cooking, I'll see all these options. And let's say each one of them has 15 to 20 options. So 15 to 20 into 10, I'm looking at 200 options. Trust me, you'll be you'll really be spending a lot of time for going to all of them. If you know you need noodles or if you know, you know if you need specific rice, just go about it, select that option and then start with the narrow search and then broaden your search depending upon what you're looking at. So you saw that my number of items have changed to four is what I've added, those, uh, you know, chicken as well. I go to this particular rice now and I can see this particular rice section. You can, depending upon what you're looking at, the jasmine rice or Thai rice or what I'm looking at, you know, kind of rice. Now, this is just an example of, uh, you know, I want to do it. I see a offer here in terms of discounting and I see uh, uh, 60 cents that have been saved. I click on add to cart and this particular item gets added the way I add it in the featured section. So there's no difference. Uh, highlight and featured is all about giving you the amazing deals for the day, which has higher discounts. And these are the regular ones where you walk in and you can, you know, uh, you are actually you're using it on regular basis. Not too much of the discounts, but this is how you can really go and start adding that. You can see the number of items have changed to five. Again, I moved back. Uh, I clicked on instant noodles and then I could see these options again available. And as you can see here, I see multiple options available. You can also apply filters and you can sort by, you know, various options. It can be by relevancy. It can be by alphabetical, depending upon the way that makes your life simple. Definitely play around with this. You can streamline. You would like to have only chicken base. You would like to have only vegetarian. Depending upon what you're looking at, you can filter out and then take forward. And then I can start clicking these options. I can start adding these options. Another example of how do I add some kind of, you know, 
uh, uh, spaghettis or you know a penne. You can decide in terms of what kind of you know stuff which you like. You can actually streamline and uh, I would say take things forward accordingly at any point of time. So this is like I keep on adding that. Now the food is done. Let's look at some wine. I need to deliver, get my wine delivered. The answer is yes. You can do that as well. You can see the total number of products is three thirty nine. This is only selecting white wine. And the moment I go to the wine section, I have red wine, I have sparkling wine, and many more, you know, wine sections coming as a part of it. And if I click on all wine, imagine I have one thousand options thrown at me, which is, a, a, I would say, a difficult way of looking at it. Streamline this, apply some filters the way you would like to do, which really matters to you as per your choice, and then select the best option coming out of it. So I can just go here, I can start adding this, and you can see these numbers are growing. So eight items are there in my cart, right? And then I, once I'm done here, you know, once I'm done by adding all my items, let's say now I know that I've added my food, I've added my wine, and I'm pretty much done, I've added my fruits. I need to now place an order. It's like you're, you have filled your cart and now you are walking to the billing counter, right? You need to get things built. This is, you can compare this as an experience, right? Once that's done, you see your complete cart. In, in, in the physical, when you're there in the cart, you don't get a choice to look into all everything unless it's been you know, put on the table where it really gets scanned and built. Here you can actually scroll and you can see, you can change the quantity. It's like, you don't have to go back to that particular section to bring one more uh, you know, quantity of that. If you need here, you can really go and uh, change that. And then you can scroll further. This gives you your complete total without placing your order. So it's like, you don't have to tell the cashier, I don't need this particular item because you found this to be very costly, not worth spending that money. This, you can, you can do all these customization here when you're doing it from your particular app in the end of the day. You can scroll further, you can see all the details. As you can see, what's the subtotal and the delivery fee is reduced, which I've mentioned about $5. Since the order is higher than uh, $79, if it's less than 79, this also gets added as a part of your delivery. And as you can see, this also shows you the saving which you see at any point of time. Obviously uh, that includes your GST that gets added and the service fee which a uh, fair price is, you know, uh, putting it as, as a part of their, I would say, placing the order. So, and once that's done, once you are know where it is, and as you can see the estimated delivery time, right? You can see that uh, this is the estimated. Again, you can select the slot that matters to you in the end of the day. Sorry about that. You can see the slot, uh, earlier slot, which is available. You can select multiple, you know, slots at any point of time, and then you can take it forward in terms of, I would say, uh, selecting what matters. Like you may not be around at this particular time. Maybe it's your workout time. Uh, you may want to go on a walk. You may want to visit someone. You want to give that two hours window. You can decide since you know your schedule much in advance. I would recommend not to give a time and you're not certain that you'll be around that time. Uh, generally, when you step out, maybe during your evenings, to avoid that particular time or if you're expecting someone, uh, generally give a time which is much more easier for you. So if you ask me personally what I do, generally since I'm working from home, I uh, select a morning time because it's much easier for me to take you know, the deliveries because evenings I generally step out for workout or something and it becomes difficult. So depending upon your priorities, depending upon what matters to you, uh, you can select that option and place the order. Once that's done, it tells you about, you know, you can change the slot in case if you want to do that, your payment option, you can change that. And just go here, you click on pay and place the order and your order is being taken. That's it. That's how, you know, your experience really comes in. Uh, you can really, uh, you know, take it forward in terms of, you know, how you can do a shopping with particular fair price. Uh, I hope you found this session uh, helpful to give you a little experience about how easy your life can be with a piece of software. I believe the whole world is driven by a piece of software today. And the same piece of software can really make your life simple. And really you can save on again, time, effort, money, and energy, ensuring that you can say, use the same productive time. in I would say, you know, uh, somewhere, somewhere else based on your choice. So I think with this, I would like to close my session. And if there are any questions, I'll be more than happy to take those particular questions.
All right. Thanks, Anil, for the informative sharing. Uh, so now we we'll proceed to the Q and A session. So please, uh, uh key in your questions, if any, in the Q and A box, and we'll be happy to take them. So I have a question, uh, from uh, one of the attendees. Um, uh, so I think for those of you who have missed out the earlier session, please, uh, you, you may try to download the Fair Price app to give it a try. Um, either through the Play Store if you're using Android or the Apple App Store. Um, so if you need us to go through any of the sequence or any of the slides that we shared earlier, uh, you can let us know that we can cover that point again. Um, so for some of you who may be wondering, like what about the other um, supermarket apps? So so essentially, uh, the, the sequence of how you create an account or add something to a cart and check out will be the same process. All right. So, so um, yeah, if you need help with any of uh, what we've shared, anything that we shared earlier, please uh, highlight that right now and we'll be able to assist you. Right. If not, uh, you may also do the uh, feedback form right now. I'll put it up on the screen for those of you who like to do so right now. Right. So this is the uh, feedback form for today's session. Um, you may use the URL as well if you are watching this Zoom session on your phone. All right. Please choose Seniors pro as the program, uh, 2nd December, today's date, uh, and put shopping under the name of the program. So, and also to briefly share while, uh, while you guys are thinking of questions to ask, uh, for next week, we'll be covering on a new government, a different government app, which is Active SG. So, some of you may be familiar with what Active SG does. You'll be able to book like different sports facilities or even use it to access your the public gyms, all right, or the Active SG gyms, all right. So, if you'd like to find out more about uh, what are some of the new features or how you can download and use them, uh, please feel free to join us next Wednesday at the same time from 3 to 4 p.m. Uh, you may also scan the QR code or access the link uh, to sign up directly. All right. Uh, okay, uh, Anil, I have a question from a few attendees about um, showing how to download the app again. So could you, do you mind sharing your slides uh, for the first part and to, to recap on how we can do so? Okay, uh, one second while uh, we get the FairPrice app um, to show on the screen so that it's easy to run through. All right, uh, I think there was a question in terms of how you can download the apps. Um, uh, you can actually find something called as Play Store if you are using an Android phone. Uh, I don't have the screenshots for that. I can definitely reshare my screen for the App Store on Apple phones. Just give me a minute and I'll just share that with you. Uh, as you can see here again, You'll be able to, uh, when you search something called as fair price, just type in fair price into your app store or play store. And when you search that, you will see the first option. You need to click on install button if it's an Android phone. 
all you can cl click on this cloud button or basically it says get it's called uh, you, it will be written either install or get select that option and you are pretty much able to install fair price as i would say uh, as an application on your phone depending upon either you are connected to your wifi or your data this will take a couple of minutes for you to install this particular app and then you need to follow those instructions which which i really showed as as a part of my today's presentation okay another question joyce is uh, you say that you're not able to log in uh, via your you know your handphone which you uh, bought over internet at fair price uh, i hope you have installed the app the moment you install the app you can select something called as you can type in your email id i hope you remember that and you can click on the forgot uh, you know option uh, forgot password option i'm also checking along with it when i'm talking to you uh, on my own phone and let me see if i can sorry about that oops out and uh, let me just sign out and then okay i signed out and what i'm doing is continue yeah so once you're able to do if you remember your email id's type in your email id and click on forgot password and you should be able to you get an email into your account and once you get an email into your account you can actually select that link and set the password again and you should be able to log in into your app so that's how generally it works out that's how generally i did when i installed this app and reinitiated it you can do exactly the same steps and you should be good in terms of logging into your particular app uh for online shopping any link points given uh i haven't done explicitly to be honest with you in terms of you know uh i would say uh you know in terms of uh, seeing it but then yes what you get is i would say uh catered uh, i would say streamlined um you know deals in the end of the day which is good which means like for example if you are buying regularly from them you definitely enjoy those uh discounts and you definitely get those customized ads uh you also have this point structure which you go at i would say the the course uh, but i believe uh, i'm not sure if the same is applicable uh, even with respect to your online i believe it is just the way you have uh, uh, fair points i would say uh, uh, you know fair price point structure when you uh, go on the course, i believe uh, the same is applicable but i'm not actually i did a quick check uh, fortunately the link points are not uh, they will not be awarded for online purchases yeah so i did share a link with uh, lilian So, if you like to find out more information, Lilian, uh, you may click on the link. Uh, yeah. So you will not be able to get link points, unfortunately, if you purchase uh using the online way, online method. But another good thing about this uh such grocery apps like Fair Price is that you can even use this app to skip the queue at the physical stores if you're there as well. So some of the stores has this feature in their app where they allow you to scan. uh the items as you take them from the shelf and put them in the basket and it will allow you to skip the queue at the counters as well yeah so these are some of the uh features that you can explore further in the app in your free time also yeah Sorry, I'm not sure if um you guys managed to hear my response just now, but uh, I was saying to in response to Lillian that the link points will not be awarded for online transactions. Um, uh, but however, you can use the app at physical stores as well to skip the queue. All right. So I think different grocery uh grocery apps or even for fair price, there's this uh, method where you can scan the items as you collect them from the shelf, and you may scan it as as you put them in the basket and even skip the queue. by paying through the app instead of the cashier so that's one thing that you can explore in this different uh grocery shopping apps as well
think it's a, it's a question from Henrietta about um, offers specific to NTC members. So I think with that, you would have to check on the app itself to see uh, whether you're eligible. You, you need to try um, when you log into the account. So I'm not sure specifically whether you're referring to the online account, uh, holders of an online account as an NTC member or really as an NTC union member. So there are very different offers for different groups out there. So I think the, the best way is just to try it out on the, for yourself and when you click on the item, whether you are eligible for the discounted price. Yep. So there was a question from Betty just now about how to use the scan and shop function. So this was the function that I shared, um, uh, uh, which is how you can use the app, even in physical stores, to scan the items um, and make payment directly through the app instead of the cashier, if you want to skip the queue. So if you want to see the step-by-step -step instruction, you may click on the Q&A feature and go to answered questions. So my colleague Simon has already uh, shared the different, the different steps to do so, and even a link uh to find out to find out more information right so uh yeah something that you can explore next time when you are at the physical uh, store next time So for those of you who have uh, no further questions, uh, you may take your leave after completing the feedback form. Uh, thank you for joining us this afternoon. I uh, hope you have taken away something useful on how to do uh, online grocery shopping. Uh, so if there's any more apps that you'd like us to cover next time, uh, you can also let us know through the feedback form. Right. So uh, yep. thank you so, so much for spending time with us this afternoon. And have a good rest of the afternoon.